All right, 210. Hey, guys. Uh, <laughs> Already? Is this how every show starts? <laughs> it's because you made me nervous. With You're laughter. like a celebrity. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you for watching Not That Your Two Time Podcast and or listening. I really appreciate it. Guys, if you are watching, go listen. If you're listening, go watch. Either way, like, subscribe, do all the things. Um, support my guest. And you're going to want to see her. And I say this every episode, but you're going to want to see who I have because I have amazing, beautiful guests. So please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Samantha Najera. Oh. Thank you so much for having me tonight. <laughs> Thank you so much <laughs> for being here. It's an honor. The yeah. honor is all mine. You know, um, it's really mine. I This is actually a dream come true. I think this has been a plan in the making for how many years now? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so many. Many years. Many, it's many. It's nice to finally be here. Yes. In your presence, in physical presence. Thank you. Welcome to Dateline NBC. This is what it feels like. Yeah. It feels weird on the other side of the, right? of the chair. Right? Yeah. Wait, is this normally your chair? No, actually, it's usually this oh, one. Oh, but bet. like to be like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm the asking you the me. questions. Yes. Yeah. You're in the hot spot. I know. And I talk really loud and you talk really low. So this is making me nervous. I feel a type of way. You want to be loud? <laughs> I could be loud. Be yourself. I just chugged a monster on the way here, so okay, do I'm it, girl. Fucking ready. Okay, good. Cause All right. I tend to be loud and proud. Oh, I mean, me too. As you should. <laughs> As we should. We should be right. Yeah. About what? Everything. Yes. That's it. Yeah. All the things. Okay, so tell people what you do. So I am the host and executive producer of the Bean and Cheese Me Show here in San Antonio. And I also own a marketing company called Heartfire Media. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, girl. <laughs> I mean, I just want to be humble. <laughs> and I just want to thank all the little people. You're like, um, I run San Antonio. Oh, my God. Yeah. I wish, though. <laughs> I mean, basically. Like, I don't really, though. How often do you get recognized? Like, honestly i would say this past year it's a lot more than normal yeah. like yeah. i've noticed throughout the years like a little bit here and there somebody will run into me at h-e-b or sam i was at sam's club one time and like peter piper or something but now it's a, like i was at the movies wearing a hoodie <coughs> damn and i was with my Hero. buddy mike yeah and his <laughs> buddy was like are you samantha from being achievement and it, and i was like how did you? i said i'm wearing a hoodie how did you <laughs> even see me she goes it was your voice I heard you talking. Uh, yeah. I was like, oh, shit. So, yeah, it's starting to happen. So now you need a voice changer when you go out. So you I don't get recognized. I just shut up because I talk so fucking loud. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, so what's this movie about? I was like, oh, my God. So can you believe I'm such a chismosa? I'm so loud and such a chismosa that uh -huh. you can't, like, hide from me. Shit. I love it. Okay, so for people that don't know, okay. what, for both your businesses, like, okay. kind of, like, break them down. So I started my marketing company 13 years ago. It's called Heartfire Media. And I'd say 13 is roughly 13, 12. Um, it's a media and marketing company. And I specialize in video production, social media management, and public relations. And I've actually been in the media industry for 22 years, girl. She Radio, TV, film, I've done it all. You look no older than 29, so. So don't tell nobody, okay? <laughs> I won't. But I started saying that out loud, like, because I think what a lot of people see now is like, oh my God, how did she do it? And I'm like, well, count back 22 years. Mm -hmm. Because I started in radio at 17. Wild. I got my first job at News Radio 1200 WOAI. Oh. I wasn't on the radio, but I was like behind the scenes. Oh. You and sound like you were. Because well, I did a little after okay. the fact. Okay. But that's how I started. And then I ended up working at Case at 12. A lot of people don't know that. And I, did, I was a news reporter myself. Oh, shooter editor did all that. And then um, I started working for a doctor and helping him produce a show. And I learned how to produce. And then from there, I started my own company with some buddies. We did video production. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it just kind of grew into other things. I, I went off on my own and started Heartfire Media. And yeah, so that's my biggest baby the long that I've had the longest. And then being in Cheese Man wasn't born until almost seven years ago. Okay. So that baby was born um, because I've always, again, had a knack for the marketing world. And I started to um, research live streaming. Yeah. And that Facebook was the algorithm would open when you live streamed. And so I was like, ooh. And then I met a buddy who had this really cool camera light system. And he had the software to live stream in a way that I hadn't seen before. And so I hired him. 
um, to produce a show for me, and me and Nina came up with with Beanie Cheese. But I asked her to join me as a co-host because mm-hmm. I didn't want to do it by myself. And he was also like, "You need to do it with her because she's funny when y'all are together." Yeah, yeah. We we had really good chemistry. Uh-huh. And so Beanie and Cheese Miss started as a show as a talk show, and then it wasn't until a few months into the talk show that we actually did characters and became comedic actresses. Yeah. After that, like we didn't do anything like that at the beginning. Huh? Yeah. I know. It's weird how that that pivoted. It pivoted only because we went live at Ingram Park Mall uh-huh. on Facebook because I told Nina we needed to be hood rats <laughs> for a photo shoot. Yeah. I was recreating the image shots. Remember the image shots that you took in high school and middle school? No, I didn't. <laughs> she wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> I'm too young. <laughs> Natasha? <laughs> never. Never. But yeah, so actually I never did. Did you not? Ever. Okay, hold on. Stop my story. <laughs> so you were never into the hood. Did you ever have a hood rat phase? How I much younger are you than I? I'm still in the phase. What are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> my hood rat phase never ended. Never. Um, yeah, no, I did. I just didn't do it. Am I, I can see you in Albert, though, totally, with the side to side, the back to back. No. Mm-mm. The prom shot? Mm-mm. Okay, so back in the day, me, huh? <laughs> We used to take pictures with our friends in hood rat backgrounds. <laughs> and it was like cry now, smile later background and uh, the hearts. Yes, yes. And I had seen who is now bigger than life, Jenny Six Nine. Oh, yeah. When she first came out. The only reason I knew about her because I had an intern. Mm-hmm. And my intern um, was like, you need to look at Jenny Six Nine. I was like, who the fuck is this hood rat? Mm-hmm. I find her and I'm like so enamored by her because of her confidence. Yeah. And I was like, is this comedy or is she being for real? Yeah. And she don't give a fuck. No. She's for real. Yeah. Jenny Six Nine thinks she's the bomb.com. So I love her for that. And she did a remake image shots photo shoot. So I told Nina, I was like, bitch, get your hoops on. <laughs> Fucking get your lip liner on. And we're going to do a photo shoot at yeah. Ingram. And I told the intern, is that place even open? And she Googled and she goes, sure enough, it was open. What? So there's still a chance? There is still a chance that image shots is open in Ingram. Well, that was seven years ago, but. Six years ago. So I can actually get image shots done? Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. We should go. I, I'm down. Right? It I had a amazing. ton in my binder. But then how come you didn't do it? Because my mom was like, I'm not taking you to get those ghetto-ass photo shoots done. Mm-hmm. And I was like, but I want one really but bad. your mom had your back in that sense, but still. But I really <laughs> wanted it. She's I bad, mom. Do. She became a head rat either way. You couldn't save her. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't yeah. save her. See what you did? I rebelled and became one. Funny. Yeah, <clears throat> but yeah. So we go live on Facebook because we're dressed as hood rats. Yeah, and I start saying, "Hi, my name is Little Chismos." I improv. Uh huh. I'm Little Chismosa, and this is Little Frijolita. I just made up a name for her, and she starts improving too. And on Facebook, people are like, "Shut, stop." Yeah, because <laughs> back then nobody did stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we were born. The hood rats were born at Ingram Park Mall when we just went live on Facebook. So we started actually filming sketches yeah. as those characters after the fact. So it all started from being in Cheese just going live and talking. Like yeah. It's weird, right? It's crazy. Isn't that crazy? How life works. But, yeah. okay, so I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into that. Yeah. And we've had this conversation multiple times. Okay. So <laughs> you're all shit. The Cheese Man is yes. on. Yes. The tea is hot. I'm all Cheese Man. Ready. Ding, ding. <laughs> um, okay, so... People have given you guys a lot of flack, right? Oh, yeah. It's like if they they don't love you, they, like, hate you. Mm-hmm. So how do you deal with that? And what do you have to say? Because I know what I say to people just, like, being your friend. Sure. I'm like, guys, like, that's not, like, you have to, under- it's like SNL. Like, it's literally a skit. They're characters. They're playing these characters. That's not who they are as people. But it's also, it's reminiscent of our culture. And just, it's true. Like, you do see those people all over San Antonio. And it's not like you guys didn't grow up around it or, or weren't, you know, yeah. in, in that phase yourself or whatever, whatever the case is. Um, how do you deal with people that have been, like, offended or have given you guys, like, flack? Um, I think <coughs> I, I was more, like, one-sided about, one-sided about it years ago. Years ago, I would have said you know what, either you get me or you don't. I'm not here to offend anybody. I meant no disrespect, but if it's not for you, like, then don't fucking watch. Yeah. But now I'm a little more empathetic Mm -hmm. 
to it um, because I, I'm starting to dig in myself personally into the Chicano culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just in San Antonio, but like nationwide. Sure. On like how this culture is really a lifestyle, actively right. a lifestyle for some people. It has a lot to do with our history and people still celebrating that way of life. And so now I'm a little more sensitive to like, yeah, I get it. I get it that it can be offensive, but at the end of the day, comedy is not meant to be taken seriously it's right. meant to la be laughed at we if we can't laugh at ourselves then what are we doing you know like we have to be able to make fun of ourselves and comedians throughout history have plenty of them have done it i just think it was more of a shock in san antonio because nobody in san antonio was trying to do something like that mm -hmm. i think san antonio is a unique city in that you can do a lot with very little but you can also do a lot of shock marketing because we're about 10 years behind mm. on everything. Yeah. So you are able to stand out by doing something different um, because people don't like change here. We're old school and we're very traditional in a lot of ways. So I knew that I knew what I knew. Let's just say I know what I'm doing every time I do it because my family are the first to tell me, oh, <gasps> <"Gen mala." laughs> they're the first ones yeah. to be like, what are you doing? Why are yeah. you wearing that? Why are you saying that you're showing your nalgas? You know, they're yeah. the first, you know, so if, if they're like that, that can I only imagine like what the whole city is going to say. Yeah. But I know I, I am sensitive to it and I get that it's an active culture and it's a part of our roots. But I'm also like, everybody take a chill pill. Have fun. Yeah. It's your tia. It's your prima. Like we all that was me. Yeah. You know, to growing up. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Did I answer the question? Yeah. OK. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Did I go around the circle? No, I feel like you answered it because I I've told people personally, like, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Yeah. There are clearly hundreds, thousands of people that love it. Even if they don't, they're going to watch. Of course. I notice. The numbers don't yeah. lie. They, yeah, they don't. I'm like, you can say you don't like it, but yeah. you're going to watch. You're yeah. going to be like this. You're all, oh my God. Yeah. Covering one eye and then yeah. opening the other. Yeah. Oh, sure. It is that kind of like shock value, but like not, but like, because I'm tagged in like some stuff too. <gasps> yes, so you're actually like, in it. <laughs> I oh am. <my> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> or like we've collaborated on, on posts and stuff. And I feel like at l minimum, like w once or twice a week, people will comment on stuff still from like Christmas, like a year and a half oh ago. You know God, what I mean? Yeah. Or like the fiesta, like two years ago, like y'all reposted the one. And I was like, oh shit. I got so many DMs. They're like, is this you? And I was like, no, uh, I don't know yeah. her. I know. So maybe <laughs> <laughs> people send yep. me screenshots. Yeah. I was like, oh, fuck. You know, what's so crazy is I also, I also think it's funny because there is an actor by the name of Frankie Quinones. He's also a comedian. Mm -hmm. Frankie has a, he's a sketch comedy guy. He has a character named Cholo Fit Creeper out of East Los, Los Angeles. What I think and I've seen that. He, he's hilarious. Yeah. He, his thing was, he was a Cholo who would do like yoga and like Zumba. He yes. He was a fit, fitness instructor. Uh huh. Hilarious. Yeah. And he's super funny. Um, Frankie was widely celebrated from where he's from. Mm. Became so successful that Hulu gave him two seasons of a show called This Fool. Yes. And he sells out arenas and things like that. Yeah. And I wouldn't say arenas, but like big old comedy club. He sells yeah. them out as a comedian. He's widely celebrated. Yeah. Widely supported. Mm. And I just think, how come he could do it and I couldn't? Mm. Why, am, why are men celebrated in that way? But as a girl being a chola, I'm not celebrated that way. Then go back a couple years ago, SNL did a skit with Selena Gomez mm -hmm. of Two Cholas. Mm -hmm. Again, it was very polarizing for the country. Yeah. Half of them hated it. Half of them were like, what? And I'm like, why can't everybody just laugh at what the comedic sketch was? Right. Um, what's her name? Via Melissa Villasenor was the actress who wrote it with Selena Gomez and the team at SNL. And it didn't do like well in the, f in the sense of like, oh my God, that was amazing. It was more of like, a news buzzworthy yeah. popular sketch because yeah. they were so conflicted on like, yeah, this is embarrassing. You shouldn't act like this. Um, so I just think it's interesting. I think uh, as a culture, Latinos, we're still kind of lost in our identity. Mm. We like to be kind of bougie, but then we're like, no, don't be that bougie. Yeah. Don't be that educated. Don't yeah. be that smart. Girl. Yes. Because then when you are, they're like, oh, you think the girl better. Yeah. Oh, you think you're the shit or what? Yeah. You think you're better than exactly. me? Exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, you no. just think you're whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So homegirl can't move out of the barrio and get an education and live on a different side of town without being hated. Mm-hmm. 
What if she doesn't want to go back and she just doesn't want to? Dude. And I vice versa, you know? I get so much shit for being like a North Sider. Oh my like, God. Oh, you're a North Sider. Oh, you're on the bougie side. Oh, you're like, you're with all the rich white people. And I'm like, first of all, why can't I also be rich? Right. Which I'm not, but like, I'm not. I mean, you are I'm in certain ways. I'm rich in blessings and beauty oh. and kindness. And then? And hair <laughs> and nails for sure. <laughs> She hits a lot Stop. of <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, no but. <clears throat> oh, I mean, facts. Thank you. This episode's over. This is all I really wanted. <laughs> no. She has assets <laughs> that we all wish we could have. Um, no, but I, I hate that. And it's, I'm like, it be your own people. You know what I mean? Like, why are you so pressed that I choose to live on the side of town and no hate like i literally grew up on the east side like i fuck oh. fucking love the east side oh, okay i fuck with the south side i fuck with the west side you know what yeah. i mean like why does it have to be it's like north versus everything else yeah i uh I, I don't know i can't speak for other cities but san antonio is definitely a segregated city and we like to judge people based on their high school dude like oh we even asked them where their high Where'd school you go <laughs> Yeah, I went to yeah. Marshall. So everybody's like, oh, so you think you're all badass because you went to Marshall? You don't know what being a real hood rat's like. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, dude, you don't know my life. Right. Stupid. <laughs> you don't know my life, but um, <laughs> they're going to judge us either way, girl. It's so yeah. sad. It's true. It's stupid. It's like, it's very, it's giving like Selena, like that one scene. Like, you know, you like, can't be from here or there. Like you're too, you know, too white for the Mexicans, too Mexican for the white. And like. <clears throat> I know that's a general statement. It's literally from like a movie, chill. I know. Well, don't at me. But it's but yeah, true. It's very true. It's so true. Because I also get that too, because I'm a Nosabo kid. That's not my oh, fault. Okay. okay. It's not my fault. No, I'm a little Nosabo too. I'm hella Nosabo. But like, I get that. Like, I've gotten that my whole life. It's like, well, then you're not really Latina. I'm, I'm, what? I'm sorry. Like, okay, wait. If you were, you're Gonzalez by marriage. Yeah. So what's your maiden last name? Mendez. Oh, you're, yeah. Everybody knows what Mendez is. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm all, uh, my mom, my dad, pretty brown. My whole family, yeah. brown. Like, you can't take away my DNA. No. And my culture and my heritage just because I don't speak Spanish. And I'm like, okay, let's break down the history of San Antonio. That's right. Okay? Because my mother was not able to speak Spanish because if she did in school, they would hit her. Yes. So it, they literally, yep. and I'm not gonna say they as like a, a, as a specific race to anybody or whatever, but it was widely like we're not doing that. We don't understand that language, so nobody can speak it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so it was attempted to be eradicated, and so because of that, no sabo kids. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty much it. That is the history. That's literally of it. <laughs> It's the history of Texas, too. For like, sure. People forget this used to be Mexico. Mm -hmm. But they were real quick to make you forget. Mm -hmm. We want to make you forget. <coughs> yeah. Forget. Yeah. This is America now. Mm -hmm. And so we're like, dude. Yeah. I, that's what I, I struggle with from, from for being from here. I'm a little bit no sabo, too, because my Spanish is bad. But it's like, I can't make everybody happy. So fuck it. No. Yeah. I never will. I'm Yeah. I'm to the point where, like, I'm just going to say my piece which is like you know just like i said like you can't take away my culture yeah like it, it, i am latina like i'm very proud latina too but just because i don't speak spanish like that's not by choice i know i can't believe i can't believe this is 2024 and people are still judging them on the languages that they can speak like right oh, for real yeah crazy mm -hmm. but yeah it's interesting being judged <laughs> <laughs> yeah i feel like we get judged all the time like both you and i like we are both in um i mean similar settings yeah and so yeah i mean people are gonna say whatever the fuck they want to say and there's nothing i can do about it like you either fuck with me or you don't and the ones that do i really appreciate yeah the ones that don't i'm sorry no and then you know as a part of like being a marketing and publicity person my brain is always like if they're not talking about you you're not doing something right or different mm. you know so it's a part of it I kind of struggle with that. And that's something that like Roy used to tell me all the time. Natasha, like negative press is still press. Yes. And I'm so like. Yes, it is. But I'm such a positive person and I, I'm like a sensitive thug. So I get my feelings hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I get my feelings hurt and I'm like, why, why are you being mean to me? Or I'll like, why you are you? Baby. That's yeah. your new, right that's here. your new tag name. Right here. Right baby. Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't even cry. I don't cry. I just get sad. I get yeah. like in my feels because I'm like, why? Because I'm like, what did I do? And like, you don't know me as a person. And like, why are you judging me? And like, I it's an internal thing. Sure. Which yeah, now yeah. that I'm vocalizing it, it becomes external. But it's welcome to therapy with Samantha. <laughs> oh yeah. We're gonna do some. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let me get my teach me. Teach me your ways. Because I I ask people and I I feel like I've asked you before like how do you deal with all the like negativity when it does come yeah I well one I tell people I was born with a certain personality that I know is very different I've never cared mm. like that okay. have I gotten my feelings hurt absolutely yeah do I have feelings yes I'm not a cold-blooded <laughs> well that's arguable <laughs> but you know like I do get hurt and my feelings get hurt but I've always had this something inside of me that that always had known from a young age who cares it doesn't matter mm. as long as I'm having a good time yeah kind of thing and my parents will tell you when I was little I would do all kinds of sketches and performances yeah. I just didn't care so I have by the God, grace of God that chip that I don't care but um, also, I know it's a game. That life is one big game, and it's how you play it. Yeah. Social media is a game. It's not real. Oh, for sure. And yeah. if you understand how the game, what the rules of the game are, then you start to look at it from the outside, and you don't take it personal. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, okay, cool. For every one million views, I'm gonna have 20% that are gonna be bad, negative reviews. Mm. So I'm just, I'm looking at it as numbers and ratios. Okay. As opposed to like, you don't know me. <laughs> Oh, and I also honestly don't want to be everybody's best friend either. No, I don't either. And I'm definitely past that. Um, and I, I've become less sensitive. Um, I just don't, I don't know. Like, I don't like being judged, but I put myself in a position to be judged. Oh, yes, girl. You're in the limelight. Yes. You're in the limelight. And so that's always going to happen. For sure. Yeah. So I am very much like, fuck it. I'm, I am going to do whatever I want to do. Um, and yeah, like follow or don't. Yeah. Um, and then you also have to remember a lot <coughs> of it is jealousy and it's unconscious jealousy too. Mm. Like who does she think she is? Like some of them don't even know why they're jealous and it may not even be because of what you think it is. Sometimes it's like some deep rooted shit that people have to deal with. Oh yeah. No, I know like a lot of people that are rude outwardly, right. Are just projecting. Yeah. So I'm like, this isn't me. This is you. Yeah. So you yeah. Mm. Like, I'm sorry. You didn't get hugged enough as a child. Mm -hmm. That has nothing to do with me. Exactly. And then, you know, self-love is a thing that I'm I'm kind of coming into myself as like, you know what? I like me. I don't care what anybody else. I like me. And yeah. that's a self-love issue that I'm working on. You yeah. know, too. I work on it all the time because sometimes I go backwards where I'm just like, I want to be liked. And I'm like, no, do you really want to be liked or do you want to like yourself? Mm. When you wake up in the, the morning and look in the mirror, like, yeah. do you like what you who you are or do you have a life you're proud of? Yeah. For sure. No, it took it took years. Like the last few years, I've been really working on it. But like, I truly do love me, yeah, and myself. Oh, that's awesome. And like, I feel like I'm worthy of everything that I want in life, and I am happy with the person that I am. Like when I go to sleep, like I know I'm a good person. Yeah. And if people don't see that, then they don't. Yeah. I'm not here exactly. to prove to anybody else, right? So girl, and I am so proud of you because I can see the last few years now that I'm thinking about it, like you've just done a whole transformation, like your confidence level for sure has gone so high. And that's so admirable because not everybody can do that. Yeah. You know? And I don't know, like I, it's really just a lot of like self-reflection. Right. And just like I, I and I think this happened with everybody like during COVID, like just like looking at yourself in the mirror and like, who the fuck am I? <laughs> what am I? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yeah where are we what's happening yeah. yeah like but who am i like who do i want to be what's a legacy i want to leave behind right and so i started there and just dug because what else are you going to do i mean well i was i was busy but you know what i mean like yeah. when i came back it was just a lot of sitting around so like okay well let me let me figure myself out that's so badass not a lot of people took took the time to evolve and you have evolved that's we have incredible. to and I hate when people are like, you've changed. Yes, I Fuck have. Yeah, I've changed. Yes, I have. Who wants to be who they were five years ago? Absolutely not. I don't. I'm glad I changed. Yeah. I I'm not even people say that. Like, I'm not the same person I was a year ago. Same. Yeah, like, exactly. So, yeah. But I don't want, I also want to grow. I want to yeah. change. If I like Coke Zero now and next year I like Diet Coke, like, gross. Yay. But gross. Yay. I'm <laughs> Let's use a <laughs> fresh pressed juice <laughs> as another example. Yes. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, I, and I love that too. And like, I, I think I love seeing people's like 
evolution, right? Like, yes. even I went from, you know, watching you guys years ago to now knowing you and like seeing like who you are. And that's why, like, I, like I tell people, like, stop. Like, if you have something negative to say, don't say that shit to me about my friend. OK, Aww. because I don't <laughs> like it. I don't. I also stand up for my friends. But no, I mean, I've, I've seen how you've changed and like what you've done. Yeah. And yeah. so, no, I mean, I'm really proud of you. Thank you. I think you. you're doing great. Thanks. It's it's been very painful, but it's been very rewarding and beautiful. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah. So. I mean, change is that, though. I want that. I, I asked God for that. Mm. I said, God, what am I doing that needs to change? What can I do differently for the life that I envision for myself? And one by one, he changed circumstances. He mm -hmm. removed people. Mm -hmm. He caused little like fires to happen that made me shift my perspective on things. Um, fucks with your health mm -hmm. when he wants your sit your ass to sit down. Oh he yeah, fucks with your health. Mm -hmm. Just things that you're like, oh my god, and it's like, be careful what you wish for. Yeah, but at the end, you're like, now I know why those things happen. Yeah, and I asked for it. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't mean it's gonna come in a pretty package, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's going to happen. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. It happens. It's happening. Yeah. Very rapidly, too. What are some of the things or some of the challenges that you faced? And uh, which part of my life? <laughs> um, any part. <laughs> I'm like, give, me, give me an example for each part of your life. <laughs> God damn it. Um, you know, I think as of recent, I can say that I had a problem with being a people pleaser. Mm. And I had a problem with like, and again, that goes back to self love. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't put myself first. I put other people first. I'd be, I'd be more concerned with the well being of other friends and family, people in general, than like what I ate today, how I felt today. Mm -hmm. Did I get enough rest? Um, how was my mental health? I wouldn't even. I didn't know how to even think selflessly. I, I mean, un, yeah, wait, unselfishly. I was very wait. <laughs> I was very um, selfless. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I tell people like selfless. you, you like, should be selfish a I, little bit. Some honest girl, no <coughs> fucking lie. I had to go to therapy to teach me how to be selfish. Yeah. I didn't know until a therapist told me like, do you ever think about what you want? And I'm like, well, no. I think it's also because when you go become a mom. Mm -hmm. your life and it, for me I went into survival mode baby mode mother mode and that's all I cared about and so I, I had postpartum depression without even knowing mm. girl you want to know how I found out I had postpartum depression how years after the fact I went to Disney and I was so sad at Disney and if you know me Disney is one of my yes most favorite places and I'm obsessed I'm stupid obsessed Disney has all my fucking money <laughs> but I remember taking my daughter with the family and she was two and a half or two and I was so sad. And I'm like, how the fuck am I at Disney? And I can't smile. And that's when it kind of hit me, something was wrong. Mm. I was like, this is weird. But I also know I was a single mom running a business, trying to make ends meet, uh, trying to save up for a house, just, just navigating motherhood, brand new motherhood alone, just making it all happen. And yeah trying to lose weight i mean i put so much fucking pressure on myself that yeah um, looking back i wish i wouldn't have done that but um yeah so i had to unlearn how to not think of everybody else and think of myself mm -hmm. first and that has been very eye-opening this past year for it sure it's been nice though because yeah. i've been like snip snip motherfucker like if you ain't on board what i got going on bye and that's okay and i wish you well yeah i wish everybody well i want everybody to be successful I want even like my worst enemies to at least enjoy their life. Like I don't wish ill will on nobody, but for as for me in my house, like my peace is everything. For sure. And I will do what I have to do to protect it. No, that's that's me. I think that's what's yeah. changed for me too in the yeah. past year. Was like, is like, I'm, I've always been big on like self care. So aside from that, like truly just like you know what. I'm not going to continue to expend energy on this because I don't have it and I don't want to. I don't have the capacity for it. And so love you, but I'm going to love you from afar. I love that because yes. I can't and I won't. And that's for anybody. I used to be like, I want to say yes because I don't want to hurt this person's feelings. Yes. Um, I even low key, like somewhere somebody fucked me up. But low key, I found like I had anxiety one time when my mom was like, you're not gonna go to your tia's 
birthday. Mm. It was a birthday or a shower, somebody mm-hmm. something. And I almost had a meltdown, like a nervous breakdown because I couldn't go. And she was like, why are you freaking out? And I was like, they're going to be mad. Everybody's going to be mad that I'm not there. Mm-hmm. But I'm also like, who told me yeah. somewhere, somehow that I had to do anything right. against my will? Come to find out my whole childhood, mm-hmm. I was doing a lot of things that I didn't. Well, I was forced to do a lot of things I didn't want to do. Yeah. So now as an adult, I'm just spewing out like, mm-hmm. no, the answer is no, because yeah. I said yes for a lot. And then in my adulthood, I started doing that. I said yes for everything because I didn't want to make anybody mad. Yeah. No, same. Why? Like, but where did we get the people pleasing? Like, where did that happen? I mean, for me, I think it's a it's a cultural thing. Mm, yeah. Like, yeah. It, and even stemming back to like, you're going to say hi and bye to every single person Yo. in this house. You're oh going to give kisses God. and hugs, whether you like it or not. And it was just like a thing. No, you're right. And that's why it's I tell my mom with so much love because I love my mom to death. I tell her it's the tone. You're not going to go. You're not going to go to the quinta. Mm. You're not going to go. I go. So that s- makes me feel like I'm expected. Mm. And so I've had those heart to hearts this past year with my family. And I tell them, um, I'm not that girl anymore. Yeah. She died. I tell them Samantha died. Yeah. She's gone. She can't come to the phone right now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. She's gone. She died. Yeah. The Samantha that you knew yes. that would do everything for everybody. Mm-hmm. Because if not, I will die an early death mm-hmm. and my daughter will be without a mom. Yeah. And I ain't going to happen. Yeah. Good for you, dude. Yeah. So, but I had to come to all this shit to yeah. get there. Yeah. You know, and it's like, why did I have to wait so long? And I actually... I talked to a lot of my older friends and they're like, girl, I didn't figure that out till I was 50. I didn't yeah. figure out till I was 45. Like what you're doing in your thirties, like shit, I wish I would have known. But now I'm telling all the young kids, like figure it out fast. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't like do, do what makes you happy and don't do what doesn't like <sighs> learning to say no has been my hardest feat as like as an adult. Right. So literally like this past year after like I handed over like the reins, I was like, here's a crown. Uh, well, I can't. Oh crown. shit, that's right. But okay. yeah, I was like, "Here's your crown. Have fun with that." Um, and I'm gonna just sit here and say no to a, a bunch of shit. Yeah, it doesn't look like it on social media, but I promise, I say no to a lot of stuff now, Good. and it feels nice. Oh, it's amazing! Like, it's so empowering. Yeah, like sometimes I'm like, I just I want to sit at home and rot in bed, <laughs> and like <laughs> rot my brain with whatever's on Netflix. Yes. Like, and let me. Yeah. And it's nobody's business and nobody should give a shit. You know what I mean? Like what I'm doing. And if I also want to be out doing pendejadas till three in the morning, that's my prerogative. Do it. Yeah. Live your life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and you know, I, um, I was going to tell you something that I discovered as far as like letting people go and letting shit go and just people pleasing. Oh, fuck. I forgot what I was going to say. Shit. I had a brain fart. It's okay. Man, there was something I was going to tell you about that. Like, if I don't want to do anything, I won't do it. Some people are born that way, too. Like, I have friends that are like, fuck, no, I'm not going. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, yeah, how are you so, scandalous. like. Scandalous. <laughs> like, they just knew. No, yeah. I will not go. Like, my brother, good luck getting a hold of him. If mm. he don't want to go, he's not going to go. They're just so good at boundaries and knowing what they want. They honor themselves yeah. more than they honor other people. Yeah. And that's hard for people like us. Remember you and I had this conversation because we're both Capricorn? Yes. We're both highly driven people. Yes. And sometimes I have to, and that's just who we are. It's a personality thing. But I also have to ask myself, what are you working for? Like, what are you trying to prove? Yeah. Is this your calling or what are you trying to get out of it? And so there's a, I have to check myself. Yeah. Is this a part of, somebody told me recently, if this is the mission, you're the captain of the ship. Are we a boarding, are we a boarding mission for somebody else? We, we are not a boarding mission unless it's going to benefit your ship. Hmm. We can, and, and there's going to be times where, hey, I'm going to help so-and-so out. Yeah, yeah. But only if it benefits your mission. Yeah. So I have to check myself. Like, uh-uh. Are you doing this for your ego, or are you doing it because it's actually beneficial? Yeah. And that's why I made that post. Oh, I, do you, post. I was like, yes. Girl. <laughs> that's all of this. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, te- I, I know that in the entertainment world, people do this rat race thing mm-hmm. and the comparison thing, and I want to do this, and I want to be that. But I've never gotten into the game for those reasons. Yeah. And I was like, let me just make sure that I'm not just jumping on a lineup to just say that I'm on a flyer. Yeah. Now, fuck that. Yeah. Um, I could see myself when I was like 21, 25. Yeah. Being like, let me be. Yeah. But 
I'm a grown asshole. I've been doing it for 22 years. I don't need to be on a flyer if I don't want to be. I don't need to prove to anybody anything. And I think I had to tell myself that. Like, yeah. you don't have to do this shit for free no more. Job well done. You yeah. put in the work. Yeah. You've got the testimonials. You've built the business. Mm -hmm. Have a seat and let the let the universe now come to you with opportunity. No, you don't absolutely. Need to chase anymore, yeah. You know. Absolutely. We put in the work. Yeah. And we attract. We don't chase. We attract, girl. Mm -hmm. Yes, honey. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. So I would have tell myself, wait, hold on. Why are you running so fast, so hard? For what? That part. But you're good enough. You already did the thing. You've already did the years of the freebies and the networking and the thing and the thing. So we're done. Have a seat. It's mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay to just be you. Yes. And in your space. Yes. Your time, your energy. Yes. Yeah. And that doesn't mean I'm not cheering everybody else. I still want everybody to win. Yeah, of course. I got to be a part of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, my biggest goal in life is truly just to be happy <gasps> and be at peace <sighs> like that's all i want that's all i want what would make you happy Ooh, what Whoa. would <laughs> make you to, like what is your vision of happy for yourself um oh shit honestly to love and be loved like truly um and that doesn't necessarily mean like us like a spouse or a partner right like my kids myself um, friends, you know, just to have this, like, I don't have to be in fight or flight all the time. Ooh. And I think as like Capricorns, but also as like Latinas, like we are, it's like out the womb. Like the last time I slept good was in the <laughs> womb. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I'm just <laughs> like, I came out and was like, let's Yo. fucking go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But that's like, that's what I'm saying. Like we, you and I need to go on a retreat, which I'm actually going, which I'll tell you all oh, about it. Okay. Um, like why, where, where does that really come from? Trauma. And, but where, <laughs> what was the trauma? Like I'm, I'm still trying to figure out my childhood traumas. Oh, I know mine. And because mine for me weren't so black and white. Mm. It didn't happen until my adulthood that people fuck me up. Mm. And I don't even want to blame people. Just, it was supposed to happen for me. Sure. Right? But I'm also like, where did I get fucked up in my childhood? That stemmed all this, <laughs> I need, I have to, I gotta get all the awards. Girl, in high school, it was homecoming queen, student council, win every scholarship. But where did that come from? I mean, I'm the same way. And I think part of it is just like, just how I am. Like that's how I'm built. Right? Like to win. <laughs> we are winners Cause in this not, mofo. Yeah. <laughs> if not, I get super pissed and I'm like, Okay, all right, fucking, we're doing it again. Yeah, start um, over. Yeah, I'm gonna do it till I get it. So you're so badass, though. You're cabrona like me. Mm. You're gonna get it until you win. Yeah, I love that. I love that for you but too. It's balance, right? <laughs> but it's a balance. Like, don't kill yourself with doing it. Yeah, yeah, dude. Because like sometimes I'm like, man, I have no fucking chill. Like, why am I like this? Because I'm just like freaking dale gas. Like, let's go, yes. let's go. Yeah. And then I'm like, then I'm caught up in this like hurricane of myself that I'm like, I created this shit. Right. Because I'm like, I'm tired. Grandpa? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, Did you say grandpa or grandma? <laughs> grandpa. Where's that from? Well, I'm tired of this grandpa. It's like, that's too damn bad. No? Holes, the movie? No. <clears throat> anyway, I'll show you <laughs> what it, it sounds funny, but let me watch oh, yeah. it. <clears throat> I say it all the time. I'm like, I'm tired of this grandpa. Shit, I'm tired too. Yeah, <laughs> literally. But then I'm like, I did it to myself. And just like you said, like, what's the goal? Mm -hmm. All for what? Literally for what? And so now I, I'm not now, but like this year, I'm taking time to be like, truly for what? Yeah. What is that answer? And if I can't answer that for myself, then like, I need to take a, a, a even further step back to really like eagle's eye evaluate yes. my entire life dude and and decisions that i make yeah i think that's badass a lot of people you're very self-aware for sure a lot of people aren't like that yeah i'm realizing that <laughs> yeah the more people i meet and just like you i mean the more people i meet i'm like wow, wow. okay you really don't know <laughs> you don't know who you are yeah you know and just talking to people but then also like now that I have the knowledge to like assess people, I'm like constantly assessing people. I try not to. I really try I not to. You were, I'm the same way you're psychoanalyzing someone. So tell me your childhood traumas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why you're so fucked up. That's why you're such a bitch. Because when you were 10, they made fun of you in school. 
<laughs> I already know. Yeah. In the dating world, I psychoanalyze immediately. Oh, God. I'm like, I can, in 30 minutes, find out uh-huh. everything I need to know. Okay. Uh, give myself 45 minutes. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> And then you're like, actually, I'm good here. Thank you so much. We're going to go ahead and leave it right here. Yeah, yeah. Have a great night. Don't call me. Don't call me. <laughs> I'm not going to call you either, but don't <laughs> yeah, call me. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's so crazy. But yeah, no, that's how it is, girl. So, <clears> but I'm proud of you, girl. You're, you've come such a long way. Thank you. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you. Um, you're just, you can just tell your confidence and and what you do is, and then I've always told Guyland, I admired your consistency. I said, there's one reason if there's one reason she's very talented, Natasha is going to succeed is because the bitch is consistent as fuck. Facts. Like you ain't going to give up. Nope. And that's cool because you'll beat the majority of people in life based on that fact alone. And you don't give up. And I appreciate that, um, that acknowledgement. But it's, it's true. Like I don't, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to fucking do it. I'm going to do it till I get it. Shh. And then, but I also am not like, okay, yeah, I got it. No, I'm good. Like, I'm going to keep doing it. So, like, people are like, oh, yeah, like, you've done this, you've done this, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm not done yet. I, I'm, I'm, like, still scratching the surface. What do you want to do? What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I want to be a millionaire. Okay. So fucking bad. Easy. Next. No. <laughs> no. Um, honestly, I mean, I have my career, right? So, like, I really just want to be successful in every thing that but I you but you're a nurse <laughs> i'm a nurse practitioner np uh-huh and you're also tell me all the things like which <laughs> career are we talking about because you also host your show uh-huh but what a, like there's something else you do um <clears throat> you own a business i own two businesses the metal company mm -hmm. the metal company well technically the metal company and then the hvac company and then uh my brand is like a content creator and then um i'm a nurse practitioner and a reverend i forgot it. yeah um sometimes bartender it's what? fast money man only fans <laughs> on. only feet only you know? feet yeah Patas, not tatas. Hey. <laughs> come on now you should start that i already did i literally <laughs> did you didn't know this no what the fuck Patas not tatas. I started it a few years ago because it what? was a joke. I legit wanted to see if I could do OnlyFans for my feet. Yeah. And it sucks. Don't do it. Well, no, Feet Finder. I never did Feet Finder. I should do it's that. It's literally just for patas. I should have. But here's the thing. People say it's just patas, but if you want to make real money, you got to show other shit. Mm. And then you got to do weird shit. I'll look. I was like, all right, I got boundaries. I'll do. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'll play with Play-Doh. I'll do some ASMR. Do they do? <laughs> if you're down to do that. Yeah then you'll make a lot of money because I, I like wasn't money. down <laughs> to talk to henry from iowa till two in the morning for oh. extra tips like it's a relationship mm -hmm. it's really a, a cyber relationship you have with your customers i don't have time for that yeah well i don't have energy for that yeah okay. and they have to love you enough to keep paying you the good money because you know the subscription of like 5.99 a month is cool but you want the tips the big tips and it's attention in time and i was like yeah i need an assistant to pretend they're me yeah Ooh, that's something i thought of mm. pretend you're me and respond to like 20 different dudes and get them to give you cash cash up right away. do that and then just give them like a cut you know what we're in business you want to help me yeah but those not thought those yes. llc yes <laughs> i'm not even playing we're starting tomorrow <laughs> we need a website right now <laughs> We need a web developer. All right. We're in business, everybody. Because yeah. I'm not showing my tatas to anybody. Well, I know, but the more money, that's, I mean, you got to do something for Yiriki. No, we're, we're caps. We're all about money. Yeah. Like, like where, where's the money? Yeah. We'll work <laughs> our asses off, but I, <laughs> I need to see the money. Yo, yeah. like I'm trying to not be so much about that. Yeah. Because that's another like issue that I'm having because I, equate success with money ah interesting so if i don't have like hundreds of thousands of dollars flowing in i feel like a failure really mm -hmm. and it sucks because that's the world we live in hello like how else do you survive life you gotta make a lot of money especially here in america yeah and then it's like this expectation of all the things you yeah know? and what i did what i started to do recently because a therapist had to help me she was like what other things can you base your success on and i'm like i don't know like what the hell you know because 
for me, it's like, oh, it's cute to have a lot of followers. Yeah. But I tell people that's monopoly money. Mm. Like, oh, my God, you're so famous. You should be so happy. And I'm like, but it's not real. It's yeah. monopoly money. Like, I can't really fucking use them. I, if I could only now now my goal is to turn the followers into cash revenue. Mm-hmm. Like, what am I getting out of? making you laugh and dance like a clown. I mm-hmm. feel like a clown sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, dee, 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 dee. Dance you monkey get dance. the ben- dance monkey dance, right? Uh-huh. And I'm like, okay, but where is the cash flowing from that? Right. Other than the self-gratification of performing arts, right? Like, I'm a performer. But she, I was like, okay, uh, I get to meet cool people. She was like, okay, that's a form of success. Okay. So I was like, I get to get into places that I never thought I would get into mm-hmm. VIP access. Okay. Yeah. That's another key indicator of your success. I'm like, um, sometimes people come up to me and say, I help them get out of their depression mm-hmm. through me making them laugh. She's like, if that doesn't make you feel successful yeah. and only money does, what does that say? And I'm like, oh shit, you're right. And so yeah. I have to trick my brain into thinking you're not a millionaire yet. Yeah. But do you enjoy it? And then she said, and do you enjoy it? I'm like, hell, I love what I do. Yeah. She same. goes, people work their whole life doing some shit they hate. Yep. And you get to do it every day. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. She's like, so now do you feel successful? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. But can I still have the money to match? I mean, <laughs> period. Why can't I have it all? And I can't, I'm working on it. Yeah. But you can have it all. It fucks with my head when I'm like, oh, I don't have a mansion. And I mm. should have a mansion by now. Like, that's how my head works. It's fucked up. A little bit, but that's okay. We'll work on that. Yes. <laughs> help me. You're rich in blessings. Yes. Yeah. Like, that's it. Like, I, I am rich in life, but I'm not monetarily rich. Like, I mean, thankfully, like, I'm, I'm okay. But, um, like, I have everything I need. My kids have health? everything that they need. Shh. For sure. Health, number one. Um, happiness is, I'm working on it. Um, but to me, success is freedom. So, like, freedom to do whatever the hell I want to do when I want to do it. Yeah. How I want to do it. But that includes being here. Like, creating content. You know, working with, you know, local people or restaurants or whoever. Whoever. Yeah. Like, doing, like, somebody reaching out to me to be like, hey, I have this freaking badass celebrity in L.A. Like, you want to talk to them? I'm like, hell yeah. Like, that's cool. That is cool. Not everybody gets those opportunities. Right. I just got a Lifetime Achievement Award like from the president. Like What? Yeah, what? Like, like lifetime achievement from the president. Mm-hmm. How? What? So how, presidential word. How could we not write the press release? <laughs> we need to call the Express <laughs> News today. I didn't know that. I was like one of I think like ten to be like the first to receive this award in San Antonio. That's amazing. I didn't know that. And so in my head, and I think that's I think both of us can resonate with this. Like we're like okay. Uh, next or thank you like I you know because I also don't want to be like guys guess what I did you know what I mean or guess what I got like I struggle with that so much of like being celebrating humble. myself yeah um I think because I'm I, I don't know if it's possible to be like too humble but like I'm just like no 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 no, no. like or when people are like oh my god I love and I'm like no stop stop stop, stop. like that's yeah stop stop <laughs> I get weird about it yeah I get in this like little like shell like I gotcha yeah I am I'm like that too but I've also learned like the balance of it Mm-hmm. Like shit, if I want to, if I do feel like that day I want to post about a, an achievement, like I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it's not. Same thing for like posting my sexy body. Yeah, I call period. It my sexy body. Period. I'm like, oh, are you go doing it because it's a thirst trap? You're doing it for attention. I'm and like, oh no, boo, this ain't for him. Yeah, this for me. Yeah, this is my platform. Yeah, that I get to go back and look at my my yeah. progress. Do you know how far I've come? Mm-hmm. Do you remember when I was like 50 pounds heavier? Like you don't remember the come up the struggle of me like my weight loss journey um so it's not for you and like same thing in general when people are like why do you work out so much I'm like because I w- want to be healthy and I like myself enough to want to look good yeah but like same thing for the awards I post the shit for myself mm-hmm. it's okay I'm glad you guys see it thank you but it's for me you know what I mean same like when people are like oh that's a thirst trap I'm like no it's because I love myself enough to share on my page you just happen to see it so thank you for the support <laughs> and i love that's what i'm saying i admire you so much because you're one of those people that i admire when i look at your posts and your pictures and i'm like damn that bitch is fucking badass <laughs> she's so badass you know like thank you. there's so many women out there that admire you and they just want a piece of that they just want a piece of your confidence of just knowing i'm a bad bitch like <sighs> but i think you have to like that's the thing like i know i am but I don't want somebody to be like, 
Yeah, you are. Because I'm like, oh, stop. I'm like, I don't like this. <laughs> oh, are you one of those girls? It's like, you're so beautiful. And you're like, stop. No, ser- <laughs> no, I mean it for real. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh my God, thank you so much. Like, you're beautiful too. But if it's like, no, no, no. But like, I love your hair and your eyes and your lips and your, and then mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, this is okay. <laughs> like, okay. Now it's getting awkward. <laughs> it's, I don't like attention. It doesn't seem like it, but I don't like on a big scale. Yes. It makes me feel weird. Yeah. Like one-on-one. Yeah. Like, of course, like, I, like I admire the shit out of you. You know what I mean? And like what you do and like. And how far you've come and who you are and all of that and like and I can say that and I truly mean it. And, but like when people say it to me, I get like weird about yeah. it. <laughs> I don't know why. I I've never been that way. Well, I've a little bit. I have it a little bit. Yeah. Um, but now I've learned to embrace and just say thank you. Like thank you so much. Yeah. No, I, I say thank you. Say. But like I and two, I have a hard. Uh, actually, I don't know if you have this. I don't know if you do. But I have a really hard time speaking about myself or like my accolades oh with other people they're like oh so what do you do and i'm like uh a bunch of stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know it has to do with com- it's all about confidence and i've learned that and i've learned through other mentors and my therapist that when you walk in a room you hold your head high oh facts. don't apologize yeah don't say oh i'm so sorry like no i'm not trying to be loud now fuck that this is who i am yeah i'm here bitch if you like it, bye. But it's not even mean. It's more like, hi, my name is Samantha Najera. I am a multimedia specialist. And I'm like, it's that. And not being scared of being too bright. Because my brightness will outshine a lot of people. Mm. But that's a gift. And I'm not going to dim my light to make you comfortable. No, fact. So I am. I'm definitely like, I'll walk into a room. Not nose in the air, but like confident. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. And like, I'll own that shit. It's just like, I think. I struggle with like saying what it is that I do and everything I've done versus like when people are like, okay, now you're just bragging. Yeah. Like, but I'm not bragging. Like you asked, yeah. like, this is, this is, you know, what I've done. This is, you know, what I've accomplished. Like, yeah, yeah. no, I'm the same way. But if they ask me, I'll tell them shit. <laughs> if they ask yeah. me, I don't have a problem saying it. I get it a lot though. People are like, oh, okay, cool. Well, uh, whatever I do isn't shit. And then I'm like, no, like whatever you do is still your success yeah like my success doesn't take away from your success never no it's like dude there's teachers out there yeah who live humble lives and their their calling in life is to be a teacher an elementary there's nothing wrong with god that. bless them yeah if i could them. never or just people like some i'm a librarian i'm a janitor like yeah. your life is just as important as mine absolutely but I, that's girl that's their problem true sorry again i'm not gonna dim my light to make you feel yeah don't feel like you feel like shit because that's your problem not mine <laughs> but I always tell people too. I'm like, no, like humble brag, like s- talk about yourself, like yeah, talk your shit, girl. girl. Yes. And then it comes to me, and I'm all, no, I, you know, I'm, I'm good. But dude, <laughs> it goes back to our childhood again. Somebody told it us, is. sit down, be quiet, don't act like. Oh, that. that was my mom. Yeah, my mom was like that too. Literally, she was like, you don't speak unless you're spoken to. You're here to sit and like essentially like look pretty and literally was like, and then that went to like my godmother and like other women in my life that were like. You have to be the pretty, prettiest one in the room, the <gasps> smartest one in the room. You have to like your nails done, your makeup done. Don't ever go out anywhere <gasps> looking like beat out. Like, so it it made me feel like I couldn't have this sense of pride for myself unless I did walk out the door <gasps> every day looking a certain way. So that has like fucked with me. Wow. And still does. I'll be really honest. Like, wow. So because people are like, no, just can't, like don't worry about your hair and makeup. And I'm like, no, I can't. I can't. That's so crazy, but look at you now. Like that, you're one of the most put together people I've ever met. Girl, <laughs> do you ever remember you helped me with my makeup? Yes, you helped me with my makeup. <laughs> yeah, because I was raised the opposite. Like, really, don't stand out. Really, don't stand out. Like, don't be wearing sexy shit. You know, not be tirada. My mom was always mad yeah, at yeah, me yeah, for yeah. being th- like, she's like, you're gonna wear a chongo to H E B. And I'm like, well, shit, girl. Like, I just want to run in, run out the H uh-huh. E B. Like, please. Um, but I wasn't taught how to dress, how to be feminine. I wasn't taught. I was told, like, don't show anything. Mm. So I would dress real. Well, you know me. Just until the past, like, year or two. Yeah. Was I actually styled. Like, somebody. You know who was ta- Tommy style besides you and other people? Joanna. Joanna really? E. Because we would have comedy shows. And yeah, she'd yeah. be like, uh-uh. You're going to wear that? And yeah. I'd be like, well, I don't know. Like, I don't know how to even dress for my body. And she would say, you're wearing the wrong sizes. You're not even dressed to show your body. And I was like, well, I don't even know 
how to be feminine, how to carry myself that way. Yeah. And I had another friend, her name is Crystal. She would do my, um, she would do my massages, but she would also do my, what is it called when they massage? The cavitation? Yes. Uh -huh. she, and she'd be like, do you know what kind of, you know how much of a bad bitch you are? And I was like, what are you talking about? And she was like, no girl. Yeah. You, when you walk, you go like this, put your shoulders back. Yeah. And I was like, oh, she was like one of the very few people like Twana that were like, what are you fucking doing, bitch? Uh -uh. Yeah. Like get it together. Change your shoes. Don't be wearing uh -huh. this. Like, and I was like, well, I don't know. Like, I didn't know how to even be, um, you know? Yeah. And I think that was part of it too, is like growing up with that mindset of like, if you don't walk into a room like that, like confident, like chingona, like people are going to treat you like shit. Damn. And so Damn. that's just been in my head too, but it's true. Because there have been times That's where true. I've walked into a room and been like, uh, you know, like scanning or like kind of nervous versus when I walk in and I'm like, all right, like that's my destination. I'm going to walk. And then I can, I don't look to see who's looking at me, but I can see you can like see. peripheral and I'm like, uh, there's a big difference. Yeah. No, there's a, there is a difference. I've noticed the way people treat me since I've lost weight. I can tell that part right away that part too yeah. oh my god she looks so good we should work together we <laughs> should blah blah right yeah oh, yeah or like from men mainly me from men oh. like the attention mm -hmm. that i get now is different the attention that i used to get and i'm yeah. like where the fuck were you a few years ago it went from professional to like now you're like a little sex symbol yeah or like yeah exactly or they're like hey let me take you out i'm like so where where were you when i wanted to talk to you like yeah years ago you didn't want to take me out 50 pounds ago no yeah it's exactly yeah. what happened now i'm mm -hmm. like mm, yeah nope. oh but now right you're a douchebag mm -hmm. always have been always will be mm. <laughs> period <laughs> goodbye so yeah i noticed i noticed the way you carry yourself does have a lot to do with it but now i'm getting to the point where i don't even care just whatever it's cool if you're gonna treat me based on how i am like that's it just doesn't bother me anymore mm -hmm. you know what i mean i just try to stay i try to mind my business to stay out of the way of like bad people you know for but sure it's always gonna be that way you know people are always gonna judge and yeah it's so ridiculous so ridiculous yeah i hate it here it's pretty ghetto I know. <laughs> like, you know like being a woman being on earth <laughs> oh being earth a is human ghetto is shit earth is ghetto yeah i'm literally gonna make sure <laughs> I will be the first. <laughs> Earth is ghetto. No, I am. Please. I am. I am. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a friend of mine the other day was like, "You should, you should literally like hats, shirts, fucking beanies." And I was like, "No, I'm down." Yesterday. Yeah, no, I'm down. You do the printing world, you know? I do. Girl, yeah, I would be the first to buy that shit. I'm actually low key jealous. I did not make that up myself. Okay. Well, I mean, maybe we can go into business. Well, if we're doing patas, not not gas. <laughs> <laughs> that we can do like Earth is Ghetto there merch. You go. Yes. Yeah. She's a hood rat. She's a ghetto ratchet ass hood rat, and like it's hard to survive here. <laughs> it really is. You gotta be. You have to be of a different mindset and live in a different world. Like I like. The, I love the movie The Matrix. It sounds ghetto. It sounds stupid. Not ghetto. It sounds dumb. Yeah. The movie the get the movie The Matrix because literally it's the physical world is what is it called it's a projection of what's in your head mm. what you're wearing the colors yeah the the fact that we're here on a set but if you live internally knowing that you're so much bigger you're you're a being a spiritual being that's just having experiences temporarily in the physical realm yeah don't make me nerd out but i nerd out over shit like that oh yeah and when you see life that way, none of this shit matters. None of it. The mm. people, the places, the things, the cars, the clothes, like it really doesn't matter. That's why I'm like, what, number one, YOLO. Yeah. And number two, like um, I truly will do whatever the fuck I want to do to be happy and to like get what I want out of this life. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? Like. I mean, of course, I want people to know, like, if I die today, right? Like, um, you know, I want people to be like, okay, I knew who she was. I knew how she felt about me. Like, I, this is how she made me feel, which hopefully was a positive thing. Yes. Um, that's all and I'm going to remember. That's it. That's it. That's it. And at some point in some generation, I won't be remembered at all. Mm -hmm. So let me do what I need to do now. And then, you know, fucking deuces. Yep. yep. Yeah, so I've just learned, like, nobody's holding me back except myself and the internal stories that I tell myself. For sure. But other than that, I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited for you. I don't know what's coming, but I know it's big. 
I can tell you what's coming, girl. Oh. Um, so I'm actually really excited because um, in August, I am rebranding and relaunching the Beat and Cheese My website. Really? And my own personal brand. Everything is brand new. Okay. And I took the time this year to really focus on myself. Good. And I, you know, I like I said, I tend to want to help other people, bring other people along the Beat and Cheese My brand. Yeah. Had a co-host, brought in a cast. That didn't work. And God told me a few months ago, focus on yourself. Focus on yourself and your craft and do it to the best of your ability and watch what happens when you focus. Mm. And sure enough, a lot has happened. Mm -hmm. Good things are happening. And not that they weren't happening before, but it, it's nice to know that I don't rely on anybody or have an expectation of anybody of course. that they're going to fail my expectations because people always do. And I'm like, no, bitch, you did this on your own. Mm -hmm. And now you have to congratulations yeah like you stand in the front and you stop saying but look at this person they're so talented and they're so funny no fuck that you you yeah. be the star yeah you be the star you are the star mm -hmm. and so when i embraced it and accepted it all this shit started happening yeah um and so now i'm really excited i brought the right team together finally um i have a team of of people on the beanie and cheese and Heartfire media side who we have a mission we have a goal and it's to support Samantha and her business endeavors to get her to the top. Good. And so when you have a team that is all on the same page, not trying to do their own thing, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. And I, it was hard for me to accept that because from my history of 22 years being in the business, it's like, well, you're helping me, but what do you want? Mm. Same thing in relationships. Why are you all over me? What do you want? Mm. Why are you being nice to me? What do you want? That's shitty. It's very shitty. I was raised that way too. People only do things for you because it's transactional. Mm. They get something out of it. And I met a few people that were like, no, we like you. We believe in you. Yeah. And we want to help you. Yeah. And I'm like, oh shit. So do I got to pay you back or what? And they're yeah. like, no. Yeah. We just fucking like you. Yeah. And you know what? I've noticed with men, and I hate to sound like this, but with men, they get a lot of backing in startups mm -hmm. more than women do. I mean, it's factual. Yeah. Because they will make up some fucking invention of a startup company without a proven model but just because the millionaires and billionaires behind them like them mm -hmm. they'll give them the money to do it yeah and fuck it if you crash oh well but a woman do it oh well, you you wasted my money you wasted my time let me see the roi when mm. do i get my money back and it's hard it's hard being a woman trying to prove a model a business model that you already know works but you have to do the extra yeah. proving no i've seen that like um i've experienced that as well like oh like do you have a media kit or like what are your prices do you have a price sheet whatever like yes but why why don't you just want to work with me from the jump like you do with like carlos so -so. next to me you uh -huh. know what i mean like yeah. so just because y'all are fucking broed out like hey yeah no let's let's work together i have to prove to you what, uh -huh. what my worth is on paper cool girl I mean, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to run circles around Carlos. Right. But but uh, why do you have to? Right. And I shouldn't have to. And that pisses me off so bad, but I'm working, I'm working on it. You know, one day with the team, you know, one of our goals is, you know, we work hard to help small businesses, actually small, medium, and large businesses, but um, to get exposure, leads, and all that good stuff. But one day, they will be calling us. Yep. One day, they will be like, can I give you my money? Yeah. Can I work with you? We won't be in this, like, let me prove it. I promise you it works mode. Because that's been my past seven years. I'm yeah. done. We're done. Yeah. We're cool. We did We did the work. Yeah. We don't need to explain why we charge what we charge. At least I don't. Yeah. I don't feel like it anymore. Yeah. You shouldn't have to. Yeah. And, you know, like, it's, it's hum I'm trying to stay humble because there are opportunities that I'll take for free. Because I want to, and I support things, and I, I, I'm always going to be that person. But I'm so glad that she's dead. She's gone. <laughs> Period. So like, yes, I swear to God, like, if I have to judge another fucking contest, like, I will throw <laughs> up in my mouth. I say that with all due respect. Yeah. Don't ask me to judge. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I won't do it. Okay. But, you know, two months ago, I was at an elementary school judging a contest because it was so cute. Shout out Camelot Elementary. It's on the east side. I saw that. Dude, so cute. These little kids, they had to do like public speaking. Uh -huh. They had to do a presentation. Like I was so happy to do that. Yeah. So happy to be a judge in that contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like shit that doesn't matter for me. Like I'm not going to do it. I'm good. You're not going to do like a chili contest. No. And yeah, I, yeah. you know, I recently had a friend who was like, will you come to my festival, promote my festival? And I'm like, no. And I love him to death. Yeah. And I was like, or here's my price sheet. Yeah. And he was just like, what? And I'm like, I'm done. Mm-hmm. 
I don't have to go. Another one, another friend, like, hey, how much do y'all charge? Well, that's a lot to show up to my thing, my grand opening. And I was like, influencers don't care about the free food no more. I mean, yeah. at least I don't. Yeah. I don't want the free food and the drinks. I don't. You need, I need more. Um, I do, but I also need more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, You know what I mean? Like, there's, some people are in that place where, like, that's what they do for a living. And they do all the freebies to do the blog of the thing. And I know mad, mad respect for them. But that's, I am a comedic actress, performer, motivational speaker with 22 years under my no, belt. I don't sure. need to show up nowhere for nobody. For sure. And I recently have a manager. I got a manager. She was like, fuck no. Fuck no. Because she would see all the shit that I would respond to like now i just forward everything to her and she was like this is embarrassing that Mm -hmm. they would even have the nerve to ask you to do this and i was like gotcha well i don't know and she's like fuck no if i have to be the one representing you then i will do that because uh-uh no more we're done and i was like okay (laughs) i might need her (laughs) (laughs) i won't give you her name because then you'll take her from me (laughs) But yeah, you know, you gotta you gotta find those people on your side who are gonna fight for you. Cause sometimes, like, sometimes I tell myself as an artist, an actress, comedian, whatever, I shouldn't be representing myself. Mm. I shouldn't be the one brokering my own deal. No, for sure. At first, yeah, being in Cheese Mess first two years, but after that, like, I shouldn't be that person. Yeah. Cause I noticed the respect level wasn't there. She noticed mm. in the meetings. She was like, "This is the third meeting I have noticed that people talk down to you." Or they talk at you mm. like you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Fuck those people. Yeah. She's like, they need you. You don't need them. Remember that. I'm like, oh, you're right. I, I mean, I just thought like, wow, this is so and so or this is a big business. Like, thank you so much for letting me in the door. She was like, quit with your little fucking mindset. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Walk in the door. Hold your head high. You have something to offer that's very valuable. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, they wouldn't have called you. Yep. And here you are. Be nice pitch them if they don't want it bye yeah you know so next yeah but girl how long did it take me to get to that point no yeah yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, pour some out <laughs> for your <laughs> for all the time wasted <laughs> i pray for samantha be her on her past well may she rest <laughs> in peace <laughs> oh man well good for you uh, i'm happy that you're at this sector of your life now thank you and that means it'll be successful because of that i i yeah Yeah. i I have to i have to thank all the people that surrounded me that kind of took the blinders off yeah and said like no you are that bitch yeah stop downplaying who you really are deep down inside yeah period i need some of that working on that yes Yes. uh, whatever you need girl (laughs) yeah anyway i'm excited august the new relaunch of the show our season's gonna slow down we're not i don't want to say end the season because we did plan on ending the season in august we've been going since january for mm. season four being in cheese man but um we're gonna keep it going on an as needed basis per paid pay per pay for play okay so a lot of the sponsors that come in if it's a sponsored thing we'll do it if it's a big celebrity i'll be doing the shows um i'll be doing sponsored segments things like that but um our season will probably come to an end in september as far as the every other Wednesday mm-hmm. thing. And then, yeah, just keep going. Just plan in the fall and the winter and then come again in January. Nice. So, yeah, I'm excited. So how do people find you and follow you and all of that? Please find me. <laughs> of course, Bean and Cheese, man, you can find just Google. It's, we're, we're across all platforms. But Samantha Naheda is my personal, and I'm trying to get people to follow it. So the Sam Naheda, T-H-E-S-A-M-N-A-J-E-R-A. That's where you can find me on all platforms, too. Follow me, por favor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How do people book you through your manager? Contact at heartfiremedia.net, beanandcheesement at gmail.com. Yes. And the link is in my bio. Oh. And my manager will respond. Hit the bio. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. (laughs) Finally. I know. Dude, you hit me on a great day. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. Perfect timing. Yeah. The stars aligned. I know. And you're here. And then I got to get you on Bean and Cheese Man. Let's do it. So we got to book you in, girl. Yeah. I'm down. Vice versa. I'm just always have down. to find the right time. Yeah. And we'll do it. Yeah. All right. And it'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, everybody, October 12th, I'll be at the Empire Theater for the San Antonio Comedy All-Star Show. Yeah. Super excited about that. So. I have front row tickets. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Natasha has always been down. <laughs> always from the jump. She's always been super supportive. 
you're in my videos several yes. yes a few at this point just that's what i love about you you're a fucking ride or die i really Thank am you i'm like just but yeah just what time what time do i show up what's and the vibe you have every yeah. time yeah. you come through so i love you for that appreciate you thank you thank you for including me on those things girl i yeah. that's why i include you because i know you're down yeah i'm like she will go i will and enjoy it i will <laughs> <laughs> live my best life yeah i'm down to clown oh, all the time shit. yeah okay yeah um but no thank you so much i really appreciate it um yeah this has been great welcome yeah um i can't wait to see what you do in the future Yay. yeah um guys thank you for watching or listening and make sure that you go like and share and subscribe and go show some love to sam if you don't already um uh, show some love to this hey patas and tatas <laughs> <laughs> watch out for our business ventures coming soon yes yeah um but yeah thank you guys thank you to vapa media for housing and producing and to latina podcast network for having me your network and i will see you guys next time bye